The topic that we're going to discuss today is about soul making, art appropriation, improvisation, installation, and transcreation. What is art appropriation? To appropriate is to take possession of something. Appropriation artists deliberately copy images to take possession of them in their art. They are not stealing or plagiarizing, nor they are passing of these images in their, in their very own, as their very own. This is artistic approach does stir up controversy because some people view appropriation as an original or theft. This is why it is important to understand why artists appropriate the artwork of others. One of the examples is the Campbell Soup Can, the series 1961 by Andy Warhol. What's the intent of appropriation art? Appropriation artists want the viewer to recognize the images they copy. They hope that the viewer will bring all these original associations with the image to the artist's new context, be it a painting, a sculpture, a collage, a combine, or an entire installation. The deliberate borrowing of an image for this new context is called recontextualization. Recontextualization helps the artist comment on the images, original, original means, and the viewer's association with either the original image or the real thing. Next is improvisation. Improvisation is the activity of making or doing something not planned beforehand. Using whatever can be found, improvisation in the performing arts is a very spontaneous performance without a specific or scripted preparation. The skills of improvisation can apply many different faculties according uh, across all artists, uh, scientific, physical, cognitive, academic, and non-academic disciplines. Improvisation is the art of acting and reacting in the moment to one's surrounding. This can result in the intervention of new thoughts, patterns, and or new ways of act. The in this invention cycle occurs more often when it is accompanied with a thorough and or intuitive understanding of the skills with which one is improvising. The art of improvisation often focuses on bringing one's personal awareness into the moment and on developing a profound understanding for the action one is performing. Improvisation is an important aspect of music in general. Music improvisation often understand the idioms of one or more musical styles and work within the idioms in express ideas with creativity and originality. Improvisation can take place as a solo performance or interdependently in, assemble, in, in, in ensembles with other players like blues, rock, folk, or jazz. Singing improvisation is an ancient art form. Singing improvisation is a mixture of musical improvisation and improvisational theater. A singer makes up the words and melody to a song. At the same time, the musicians are making up the music to the song. Additionally, aspects of dance, uh, comedy, and sh showmanship are all part while theater, according to dominant uh, acting theories of Constantine, an actor improvising a scene must trust his own instinct. Through improvising, an actor can learn to trust his instinct instead of using theater mugging and indicating to broadcast his motives. Improv is also useful in its focus on concentration. Actors who fail to keep up with an improvisation are said to be blocky. So there is also dance improvisation as uh, choreographic tools. Improvisation is used as chore choreographic tools in dance composition, experimenting with the concept of shape, space, time, and energy, while moving without uh, innovation or cognitive thinking can create unique and innovative movement design. Uh, spatial configuration, dynamics, and unpredictable rhythms improvisation without innovations allows the 
choreographic to connect to their deepest creative self, which in turn clears the way of pure invention. While the, contra, uh, the contact improvisation is a form developed 30 years ago that is now practiced around the world. It originate from the movement studies of Steve Paxton in the 1970s and developed through the continu continued exploration of Judson Dance Theater. It is a dance form based on the sharing weight, partnering, and playing with weight with unpredictable outcomes. Film. The film director Mike Lay uses a lady improvisation developed over a period of weeks to build characters and stories for him for his film. He starts with some sketch ideas on how he thinks things might develop but does not reveal all his in intentions with the cast. They soon discover their fate and act out their responses or their dis destinies are gradually revealed, including significant aspects of their lives which will not be uh, subsequently be shown on screen. The final filming draws on a dialogue and actions that have been recorded during the improvisation period. While the comedy, uh, improvisational comedy is a common art performed throughout the world and throughout the history. Poetry. Traditional epic poetry includes improvisational moments where reciter flattered the audience or substitute forgotten passage to the delight of the listener. There are also societies that value improvised poetry as genre, open as the debate or poetic toast, when improvisator, uh, improvisators compete, compete for the public approval. In television, uh, in, 1970s, in 1990s, TV shows called Whose Line Is Is It Anyway popularized short-form uh, com comedy or comedic improvisation. The role-playing games often involves a casual form of improvisational acting. A player character may be predefined with game statistics and, and a history, but the character responds to game events and to other players is improvised. Next is the art installation. What is art installation? It is an art, uh, an art installation is the three-dimensional visual artwork often created for a specific place and is designed to change the perception of space. The term installation which appeared in 1970s generally applies to work created for interior spaces like outdoors works are more often referred to as public art, land art, or to put it rough, roughly, uh, humans intervening on an in, in environment and putting their stamp on it. An installation can be either a mobile, permanent, or ephemeral. Uh, a specificity, a specificity, some installations are designed for the depending on a particular in, uh, exhibition location. While interaction, in some cases, the public led to interact with the installation or even the artist himself. The scenography, some works invite a course or a path and the propose uh, different stages or sensorial sequences. Next is the art transcreation. There's no one one-size-fits-all approach in the global market. That's where transcreation, translation, and recreation comes in. Oliver Sales and marketing executive Susan Foley looks at the process of transcreation. The transcreation, which is translation and recreation combined, essentially uh, combine the discipline of translation with the art of interpretation. It is a process by which communication produced for a local market and are reevaluated and reconfigured to appeal to a culturally uh, dis uh, disparate audience. What is transcreation and why it is so important? Transcreation essentially combines the discipline, uh, as what we talked about a while ago, and it is the process by which uh, communicates produced for a local market and we evaluated and reconfigured to appeal to our culturally displayed audience. The transcreation process involves gaining an understanding of a target market and carefully tailoring communications by 
employing suitable language, imagery, styles, and tone for effective messaging and optimal appeal. Consideration for translation includes the language. Literally, translation of communication possesses problem. At the very least, text could be or message and fail to resonate with the target audience. At worst, text could or end the audience cause embarrassment and permanently damage a brand. The benefit of local knowledge can be underestimated. Image and colors impact diversely with the different culture and failure to recognize that can be adversely affect campaigns. For cultural practices, in 2018, HSBC introduced their highly effective uh, globalization strategy. This campaign thinks globally, act locally, comprised a series of advertisements demonstrating how gestures are interpreted differently by different cultures. This campaign powerfully endorses the importance of local knowledge when embarking on customized marketing campaign. For the legal practices, uh, some countries prohibit advertis advertising directed at children and other can be and ad others ban the promotion of certain products such as tobacco or alcohol. Countries such as Germany, Luxembourg, and Belgium ban comparative advertising. It is important to know the parameters of target markets to operate within the confined or local practices. Typical equalities for good transcreation. First, effective transcreation strengthen brand perception at the local level and provide transferable global customers experience and uh, ensuring strategy consistency and brand reasoning. In the ideal world, local, international, local and international transcreation teams should be involved in the campaign conception process to ensure the strategies benefits from the global and local global and local consideration. Okay, and next is the soul making. What is soul making in an art appreciation? It is a form of crafting stories, are transforming brief moments into images, and our symbol does not connecting with the people understanding culture and embodying tolerance and peace. Imagination, it is like with inspiration and it plays a major role in the art production. And here is the link for uh, more on the soul making.